Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, we're going to create a static study, and we're going to take advantage of beam meshing. Uh, this uh, structure was built with uh, weldment structural members. It's actually hollow. If we section it, you can see there that. Uh, um, so when you have thin wall tubing, the beam elements are the ideal way to to mesh that rather than solid elements. So we'll create a new study and it will just be a static study. Okay, and uh, our intent is to have a point load uh, about halfway through this member here. Um, in beam meshing, we're typically applying uh, loads and boundary conditions to joints. Okay, so we might say, you know, these four joints here will be fixed and our intent is to have a point load halfway down this beam but we don't have a um, joint there so how do we get that that's what this tips about alright so our weldment structural member was made from a source sketch if we go back and edit that sketch you can see that uh, this is just a single line right so if we break that line into two entities and the way that we would do that is through tools, uh, sketch tools, split entities. I'll pick the midpoint of that. And now we've got two entities. We'll probably have to redefine our structural member now. So we'll go in and edit that. We'll add another leg there. Okay, and you can see that we picked up a joint. So when you have this warning, um, we do want to typically edit the joints and, and calculate, recalculate them. Okay, so everything is current. And now it makes it uh, pretty easy to go in and apply an external load now as a force to, this is a filter for joints by the way, to this joint. And relative to um, this plane, Let's click top. Let's put uh, 700 pound load. And we will run that. Uh, apply a material. We'll just go with the uh, carbon steel. Okay, so that lets you get your joint at the midpoint of a member. And hopefully this uh, gives you some good ideas for working with beam elements. Thanks for watching this quick tip video. My name is Tim Roberts.